who are now the complete prisoners and under the complete domination of the bureaucratic, communistic Frankenstein which they themselves have created. Ladies and gentlemen, they shouldn't be called that administration... Will you be needing anything else, Mr. Murrow, Mr. Friendly? Uh, we're fine for the moment, Rebecca, but perhaps you ought to check in on our favorite junior senator from Wisconsin. I think a courtesy call to his office might be in order, you know, <laughs> around the bushes a bit before the ambush begins. Would sending him flowers and our condolences be a bit much? Mm. I'll get the flowers right away, sir. Uh, five white lilies and a single red rose. Do you have that? Yes, Mr. Friendly. Be impressive, one of it. A little dramatic, I admit. We've got this one in the bag. The only impressive thing on hand at present is your ego, Fred. Just because we're attacking a paranoid man of substandard morals and disparaging actions does not guarantee the success or effectiveness of this program. You're arrogant when you're nervous. It's a bad habit. You've stood by me to a fault these past couple of years, Fred, while we've tried to change the fundamental nature of this so-called idiot's box. I need to know that you're still here, with me, still trying to change this consumerist playground into a symposium where the great minds of the future can be informed, and we can stop the exploits of this fear-mongering tyrant. I want this to succeed as much as you do, Fred. So are you with me? Your copy looks good. I made a couple edits, but we should be set for tonight. Good to know. I mean, again, while you're not a politician, Politicians don't have their own speeches, Fred. I suppose. I'm with you, Ed. Heck, my investment in this piece is matched only by your own. Three thousand dollars and his reputation is a lot to ask of a man at any point in time. That's a worthy investment and a righteous decision if ever I was to make one. So I'm with you, nervous or not. This story could do some real good, and I'm not about to give that up. For the benefit of the American public, Real with communists or not. So, if alcohol is absent from an impromptu toast, does that make it somehow less legitimate? Considering if we started drinking now, there would be no broadcast tonight, thus undermining the message of said toast. I don't think it's any less legitimate simply because we're sober. Excellent. Now about those flowers. It's been 30 seconds. Real with communists or not. I would have finished it. I would have been like sitting there. I would have probably spoken. Oh, you can do some real good with the story. I'm not going to give that. You've stood by me to a fault these past couple of years, Fred, while we've tried to change the fundamental nature of this so-called idiot's box. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> that that one idiot. Don't you know that you're just a taco? Uh, what? <laughs> I smoke when I'm nervous. So. <laughs> okay, and then I fall back down and I scream, there's the pain. And then there was the bleeding and just horribleness. So, yeah, don't do that. Yeah. It's a bad memory.